when you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. But one thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. And you burn the bridges, you can't come back. And what God is about to do in this church, there are some that will hear of it. The Bible said that the glory of the latter days shall be greater than the former. What God is about to do again in Shakina glorious ministry, those that left ah, and break the bridges, they can't come closer. Women, they don't have the physical strength to roll the stone. So they ask, who will roll the stone? But the Bible says that when they lifted up their eyes to the heavens, like David said, when I lift up my eyes to the heavens, where comes my help? He said, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, a God who does not sleep nor slumber. He that watches over you ah, will neither sleep nor slumber. He is your helper. He will roll the stone this morning for you. The stone has been rolled. He is not in. He is risen. Stop! 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 He's not dead, for he is risen. And everything in you that is dead, I declare upon you this morning, it shall resurrect. It. The power of the resurrection will hit your mortal body and equip your spirit, equip your soul, and you shall be as resurrected soul. He's risen. The tomb is empty. I say the tomb is empty. Lift up your hands. I don't know for some divine reason this morning I was led to come to you and prophesy with the prophetic word that son that sees the Lord everything that you lost four years ago the storm blew many things away this morning there is a resurrection blessing coming upon you and as many are witnessing they will see a resurrection a resurrection of blessing in your life in the name of Jesus thank you thank you thank you Thank you. Yes. Rakatosi hata. Rekata lebrasia. Rekatos sadaba. Is somebody praying this morning? Sister Wendy, 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 Wendy. And I see another last name start with M. The Lord is telling what? 
Mahom. It starts with M. Wendy and the last name starts with M. Mahom. I hear the Lord saying, I should declare unto you, He is about to resurrect everything that is dead in your life again. Receive it. Six, 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 six months. The symbol six signifies six months. The enemy is plotting an attack on the seventh month. Seventh month and three weeks. You are about to enter into your eight months. I see they rushing you to the hospital. The enemy thought he can abort the baby. But I hear the Lord say, this is the seed of the woman. Ha! And say, Lord, today, do not pass me by. Did I know you, woman? Have you met me before? Did I talk to you before I came to church this morning? And I'm just telling you, the Spirit of the Lord is telling me that you are six months pregnant. I saw the number six. And the Lord is telling me that a son will be born. What are you expecting? I'm six months you are six months pregnant. What are you yes. expecting? We haven't checked the A son. And they plot against the son. The seventh month. Three weeks after the seventh month. You are about to enter into your eighth month. So seven months, three weeks. I see an arrow from a village. And they see that the destiny of this child is going to be great. And they want to strike the child. But I hear the Lord saying, I will protect you. I will protect the seed. I will protect the child. Thank you, Jesus. And I will give you a wing. Like that of an eagle. You will fly high. You will be in a place that the dragon cannot touch the baby. Amen. Can I give somebody a prophetic message this morning? Every seed in you is a blessed seed. Every child in you is a blessed child. Every seed in you is a blessed seed. And I'm here to tell you that the enemy cannot temper the seed in you. If you believe, how would I believe? In the book of Genesis, the chapter number three, there was a garden. Somebody say garden. And in that garden, there was a man called Adam. And God gave Adam the willpower to eat from the tree. But of the tree of the knowledge of what? Good and evil. He said, don't eat that. In that garden, there was a woman. Somebody say, a garden? A man? And a woman. So the Bible says, while they were in the garden, here comes the serpent. Lucifer, who was cast out. There was war in heaven. And the angels cast him out. War unto you, O earth. For the accuser of the brethren 
who has been accusing them 24-7 has been cast down. So when the serpent entered the garden, the Bible says he got closer into the ears of the woman. Did God say, if you eat this tree, you will die? It's a lie. If you eat this fruit, your eyes will be open. You will see like God. And you will be like God. The woman did not hear the voice of God. Because when God created Adam, he said, I have created you in my image. You are like me already. All that the woman should have said to the serpent, I'm already like God. I talk to him all the time. He walks in the cool of the garden. He approaches me. He touches me. He speaks to us. We see him face to face. He created us in his own image. He has given us the willpower. We have everything in control. We are already like him. But the Bible says that the serpent deceived the woman. And the woman ate the fruit. Somebody paying attention. I'm going somewhere. When he finished eating the fruit, the Bible says, he gave it to the man. And the man also ate the fruit. And the Bible says, immediately, your eyes were opened. And then they realized that they were naked. So they tried to cover their nakedness. And they tried fig leaves. Because that is what they are used to thinking that leaves can cover their nakedness. But the Bible says when God called Abraham and told him bring your son onto the mountain and offer him as a sacrifice unto me the Bible says that Abraham told his servant me and my servant is going to the top of the mountain we are going to offer a sacrifice and we will come back. While they were climbing the mountain the sheep was also climbing from the other side. When Abraham lifted up the sword, the Lord said, stop it. Now I know you fear me. Behold, the ram there killed the ram. The Bible says it was a picture that the lamb of God that took away the sins of this world. So God came into the garden. Adam, where are thou? I am hiding. Why are you hiding? He said, I am naked. He said, who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree of the knowledge of evil that I told you not to eat? Daddy, it is the woman that gave it to me. The Lord moved from Adam and said, woman, what have you done? He said, daddy, it is the serpent that deceived Adam because of what you have done curse is the ground on which you were created from from the dust of the ground curse is that ground it will produce stones you, you will sweat you will labor before you eat he did not curse Adam but he cursed the ground and the ground begins to produce the world he turned to the woman and said, woman, you, you will go through the pain of labor nine months. And in the ninth month, the pain will increase. And you will be painful. You will always be under your husband. Then he turned to the serpent. Serpent! Because of what you have done, curse is you, the serpent. You will crawl on your belly. 
and you are going to eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman. And the seed of the woman, somebody say the seed of the woman, will crush your head and you will bruise his knees. The seed of the woman. The seed of the woman. It happens where? In the garden. It happens where? In the garden. It happens where? In the garden. The seed of the woman. In Revelation, there was a woman who was pregnant and was about to give birth. And the Bible says the dragon begins to come. He was a serpent. Now he has become a dragon. Begins to chase the woman. And God gave the woman the wings of an eagle. He fly to a place far distance where the dragon could not reach. And the dragon spit out of his mouth a water that came like a flood. But the spirit of the Lord raised a standard. And the Bible says when the woman gave birth, it was a male child. And the hand of God picked the child and took him to a place and the woman fly to the same place and the child and the woman was kept in that place far rich from the dragon and when the dragon realized that he can't reach the woman the Bible says he turned around to chase others which are the saints of God beloved I came to give you a prophetic revelation that there is a seed in the womb of everyone. And that seed of the woman is no other seed but Christ Jesus. He was a seed. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only seed. There is a scripture in the book of John. John. Chapter 12, the verse number 24. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground a and dies. It's a seed. It falls to the ground. The seed falls to the ground and what? It remains alone. Yes. But if it dies, it produces much grain. It produces what? Much grain. Let's go to the book of John. 1941. Somebody say the seed. Somebody say the seed. Somebody say the seed. Read for me again. Now in the place where he was crucified. Now in the place where he was crucified. There was a garden. There was what? Genesis chapter 3. There was what? Genesis chapter 3, there was what? And in that garden, the Lord said, the seed of the woman, right? The serpent deceived the woman. And later, the Lord said, there's going to be a revenge. A seed will come from the woman and crush your head in Gogota. In the place that they crucified him, there was a garden. And what happened in that garden? And in the garden, a new tomb in, in which no In one that had, garden, there was a tomb. In which no one had yet been laid. No one has been laid in that tomb. So they, so they, they, so they lay Jesus. So there, they laid Jesus. Because of the Jews. Because of the Jews. So there was a garden in the place that they crucified him. In that garden, there was a tomb. Nobody has been laid in that tomb. It is there they planted Jesus. A seed is plant. When you plant a seed, what happened after it? It germinates and grows. Right? The God of miracle who caused a tree to grow instantly on Jonah's head and produce shade for Jonah. That same God made his perfect seed, Jesus Christ, fell to the ground in the garden. Three days it resurrected. See the fruit of it. 
see the fruit of it. You are a Christian. You came from that seed. Is somebody hearing me? Is somebody catching the revelation? So Jesus was the seed of the woman. Jesus was planted. And they could not destroy the seed. And when Jesus was planted, it produces we Christians today. That is the simplified definition of the word resurrection. From Genesis to Revelation, it was the seed. 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 And your husband, for example, I know that is not him, but I can describe your husband to you right now. I can tell you the shoe size of your husband. I can tell you the work that he do. But for time's sake, I'm going to go speak because I'm doing something. Your husband, out of his love towards you, release a seed. You receive the seed. And then you became pregnant. And you say, I have taken a seed. You started watering the seed. Soon and very soon, the attacks on this seed will not prosper. The plans of this seed will not prosper. You will deliver like a Hebrew woman. And when you deliver, you will see your child. Your children will be born to you. And soon and very soon, you will have children. And your children will have children. And your children will have children. And your children will have children. So a day will come, you will be a grandmother, great grandmother, sitting and seeing your children, children, children. God wanted a family and he said for me to have many children Christians I have to release my only one seed and plant it in the garden and Jesus was planted and today after the three days a resurrection takes place and then we becomes the fruits and the branches Christians are being born every day. This morning, I want us to do something prophetically. We call it a resurrection seed. Prophetically. Before I proceed, I'm giving five minutes. Dive into prophetic and ask yourself, what seed do I have? And if you recognize you have can you plant that seed on the garden this morning and believe in God for the resurrection power of God to resurrect your finances to bring back everything that you have lost is somebody hearing me is somebody hearing me this is not an ordinary offering but this is a prophetic somebody say prophetic if your husband did not release his seed, you, have ne- you would have never become a pregnant today. Though you were a woman, blood flows every month. But one prophetic seed, one seed from your husband, stop the flow of the blood, isn't it? Some of you, you've been bleeding financially. You've been bleeding financially. You've been bleeding financially. Every month you lose money. Every month you lose business. Every month you lose a tender. Every month you lose your business. But I'm here to tell you this morning, by prophetic direction, that bleeding will cease. Do you have a seed? Do you have a seed? Do you have a seed? Pastor, what are you talking about? A seed in the resurrection Sunday morning? Because it's a prophetic. I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series. For more information, call us on plus 278-849-9397, plow 278-444-4702, 0114930531. God bless you.